you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, 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 sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Oh, 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 oh sometimes it causes me to tremble. Tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they pierced him in the side? Were you there when they pierced him in the side? Oh, 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 oh sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they pierced him in the side? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Oh, 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 sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? A hearty welcome to each one of you, my dear brothers and sisters, to this Eucharistic celebration of love, peace and joy. We pray for you, our loving senior citizens and our elderly brothers and sisters. We pray that the Lord may bless you abundantly, bless you with His courage and strength and give you all that you are in need in your day-to-day -day life. Along with this intention, we also pray for all your intentions that you have placed before the altar of the Lord. We pray that the Lord may answer all your present petitions in His divine providence. Let us now begin this Holy Eucharist by signing ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living, and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 17, verses 3 to 9. Abraham bowed to the ground and God said this to him, Here now is my covenant with you. You shall become the father of a multitude of nations. You shall no longer be called Abraham. Your name shall be Abraham. 
for I make you father of a multitude of nations. I will make you most fruitful. I will make you into nations, and the issue shall be kings. I will establish my covenant between myself and you, and your descendants after you, generation after generation, a covenant in perpetuity, to be a god and the god of your descendants after you. I will give to you and your descendants after you the land you are living in, the whole land of Canaan, to own a perpetuity, and I will be your god. You, on your part, shall maintain my covenant yourself, and your descendants after you, generation after generation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Consider the Lord and His strength. Constantly seek His face. Remember the wonders He has done, His miracles, the judgments He spoke. Response. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. O children of Abraham, His servant. O sons of the Jacob, he chose. He, the Lord, is our God. His judgments prevail in all the earth. Response: The Lord remembers His covenant forever. He remembers His covenant forever. His promise for a thousand generations. The covenant He made with Abraham. The oath He swore to Isaac. Response: The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Gospel acclamation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Harden not your hearts today, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Chapter 8, verses 51 to 59. Jesus said to the Jews, I tell you most solemnly, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said, Now we know for certain that you are possessed. Abraham is dead and the prophets are dead. And yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never know the taste of death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who is dead? The prophets are dead too. Who are you claiming to be? Jesus answered, If I were to seek my own glory, that would be no glory at all. My glory is conferred by the Father, by the one of whom you say he is our God. Although you do not know him, but I know him. And if I were to say, I do not know him, I should be a liar, as you are liars yourselves. But I do know him, and I faithfully keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to think that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. The Jews then said, You are not fifty yet, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, before Abraham ever was, I am. At this, they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and left the temple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, a God is the God of a relationship. He invites us to be in communion with Him. And the best way to be in communion with our God is through faith. And that is what we saw in the first reading. Where Abraham, in and through his faith in God, he shared a deep relationship with God. And God changes his name from Abraham to Abraham. My dear brothers and sisters, 
in the gospel passage jesus is offering the same relationship to the jews when he says that if you keep my word you will never see death but the jews are not able to understand not because they are not able to understand it is because they don't want to understand that is the prime and baseline for their unbelief in jesus my dear brothers and sisters jesus was offering them a relationship which they refused and not only refused they even picked up stones to throw at jesus my dear brothers and sisters as we are in the season of lent right from the ash wednesday onwards we each one of us have given up something some of us have given up meat some of us have given up something that is not becoming of us maybe our be uh, maybe our behavior or our thinking or our actions why have we given up all these things is it because the lord wants us to give up or we have just kept it aside we have given up because all these things were not allowing us to be in communion with our loving god so my dear brothers and sisters as we are very soon going to enter into the holy week and all that we need in this holy week is a very deep relationship with our savior jesus as he will be undergoing the pain and difficult moments in his life and all that he wants from each one of us to be awake and pray so my dear brothers and sisters let us ask ourselves today what is my relationship status with jesus is it strong or is it wavering and if it is wavering let us ask the lord to bless us and guide us and strengthen us so that we renew our relationship status with god and make it strong and live our life pleasing to god let us pray for this grace during this holy eucharist amen my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may, may the, the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church we offer you o lord these gifts which you yourself have bestowed may they attest to your care as creator for this our mortal life an effect in us the healing that brings immortality through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and, and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift, lift them up to the lord. lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it, it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god 
for you will that our self denial should give you thanks humble our sinful pride contribute to the feeding of the poor and so help us imitate you in our kindness and so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we are claim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope and Derek our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse and with blessed apostles with saint francis the sales and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by his divine teaching we dare to say our, our father, father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven, heaven. Give, us give us this day our daily, daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us and lead, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will we live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with your spirit Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
grant, grant us peace. Behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and live Jesus. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Wishing you a wonderful day ahead. Son, pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. Mother of God, live with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. May God do cleansing streams over us, washing our souls from every stain. Mother of God, live with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. May God His Spirit breathe into us. Open our graves and bring us to life. Mother of God, live with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. Remove our stony hearts Give us a heart of faith instead Mother of God, be with your Son Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure